and welcome back to our channel, Agile and Nonprofits. I'm Megan Martin, Scrum Master of the Marketing and Training Team. And we've gotten so many wonderful requests um, to dive into a little bit more of the Agile tools, such as Asana and um, Favro. So um, we're going to do a series of the tools that we've gotten um, a little bit more in depth with and um, are pretty comfortable working with to help you and your nonprofit um, if any of these tools are something that you are interested in. So today we're going to dive into um, Asana. But before we do that, if you um, like these kinds of videos or um, have found that our videos are helpful towards uh, your Agile journey and your nonprofit, um, please hit subscribe so you never miss any of our videos. So let's get into Asana. All right, so you are looking at um, the um, kind of like the overview of um, the testing um, board that we have uh, set up. Um, Asana is very user friendly. You can either go pretty simple or pretty in depth. Um, today, we're just going to be going into the free version um, so it doesn't get too complicated for you as you're just getting started. Um, if you would like something a little bit more in depth, let us know in the um, comments below and we can work on getting that uh, done for you. So um, when you log into Asana or create a um, account, this is kind of what you're going to be coming into, um, more of like the home screen. Um, you'll have all your options down on the left hand side. And um, this is kind of your navigation menu um, per se. So when you come into the home screen, it's going to give you a broad overview of everything that you have going on and anything that um, you've created under your teams, your projects, um, and so on and so forth. So this kind of shows who you're collaborating with the most, um, a quick snapshot of things that are coming up that you're working on um, if you're in multiple different kinds of teams, um, and a small excerpt of your projects. So we're going to come on down to um, underneath teams, and that's going to be where your um, boards are. And um, so I've kind of set up one where it's going to be, uh, so our team kind of works in two different um, groups or teams, obviously. So we have the writing team and the marketing and training team. So I created the nonprofit team. Um, so you can kind of see it just broken down as if you are one team. Um, so you're gonna, when you come into Asana, these are going to be blank. Um, and you're just going to add a section um, and you can do the, the, the to do in progress in review and complete, um, which the complete is actually already there. Um, so you can keep adding, you can add as many sections that you would like um, that would work for you. Our team uses to do in progress and in review. Um, and then obviously complete, of course. So you'll be creating these little tasks, which I've created a couple already. Um, you'll be... Let's do, let's see, five. So that creates it. And then what's fun is that you can click right in here and it gives you a lot more options of what can be going on in that card. Um, so you're gonna be assigning it to somebody, um, giving a due date if it is uh, time sensitive, um, your priority, which is um, your product owner or um, CEO or um, you know whoever's actually working on that project to do, to decide um, if it's going to be a high, medium, or low priority. High, of course, means that it needs to be pulled up and worked on immediately. Where medium or low is, you know, a little bit obviously lower than the high. So we're going to go low because we do have a couple highs, and you don't want too many on your list because um, then you're going to have to just go by the date uh, sensitive of those highs which is perfectly fine. Um, and then of course, down here, you can have your description. So testing task number five is, um, you know, let's say the um, training is complete. So that is going to be your acceptance, acceptance criteria for um, this task. And then um, your team can come in to, into these tasks or cards as they're working on it, or you yourself, if you're a team of one, and um, make note.
you can comment. And then your team can come in here also and kind of give you um, appreciation. Like, yeah, you're doing great on this. Um, you can tag a team member um, and they'll get a notification um, that, you know, there's a chat going on in here that they need to pay attention to. Um, and you can uh, attach files or images or anything like that, that would be helpful within, within this task. Um, those kinds of things are really helpful if you are collaborating with, let's say I'm collaborating with Diane, um, I would mention it to her or something and then it would go into review and she would get the notification that, you know, something's going on and let me look at this and what she needs reviewed in here. So that could be like the document, the image, uh, the web page, um, so on and so forth for whatever you are working on in that time. Um, and then of course, when something is done, you're just gonna move it over to complete and it is complete. And the whole team knows that that task is done. Um, another cool thing about up here is you can kind of look at this whole project um, as a overview, of course, again. Um, this is kind of where your you and your team can make um, a little bit more of the notes and um, explanation. Um, maybe you want to um, make sure that if it's new team members coming in, um, they can come into this page and just got, get a really good feel of what the organization is. Um, maybe you use it as a reference um, area where, you know, if you're um, estimating stuff, you could put in here, you know, task number one is um, eight points. So anytime you have a task that's similar or is the same as task number one, you know that you don't have to re-estimate that. You can just come in here and it is an eight. Um, another cool thing is if you come in here, uh, like I said, if there's a new team member that comes on or if you just need your team members to have a place that they can reference back to when they're talking to a client, um, you can really, you know, edit this to look exactly like where um, it's all the touch points that you want your team members to know about. Um, so, of course, I have um, put into our Agile Nonprofits um, mission statement, what our background is, um, what we're, what the problems we're trying to solve for nonprofits, um, any questions that we may come about in the long grand scheme of things for the product owner and, um, you know, some risks that might come up um, when we're scheduling trainings or such like that. All right, um, you can also add um, additional files. Maybe there is a document that you want to make sure is easily accessible to everyone. You can upload it here also. Um, creating project roles is another really great one. So your team always knows who the Scrum Master is, your product owner is, um, who else is on their team. Uh, you know, maybe your chief product owner needs to uh, be able to come into all the different um, you know, teams and be able to see who is working on what, who's the Scrum Master and Product Owner to go to if they have an idea or something like that. So this is a really great overview um, for your team and other teams outside if you all have um, access to te other teams. Um, so then the rest of them are just going to be different ways that you can see those tasks coming up. Um, the assignee due date and priority. Um, if they have a comment inside, maybe you're upvoting. Um, if you feel like a task, maybe you know it's um, set for low, but you're you know in that planning stage and you're upvoting or voting on things that you think are a little bit more of a priority. Um, the board view is of course what we were just in. Um, your calendar view is nice because you can kind of see what priorities or tasks are coming up. Um, and then, of course, you can really get into deep um, dive things with the paid program. Um, you can chat within here. So if Diane and I um, didn't have Slack or something, you can um, come right in here and um, chat with other uh, team members. And then, of course, there's another way of um, bringing in your files to see all in one place. Um, 
So it's a very cool, very simple if you're going with like your free versions, um, but you still want all that access to be able to um, move around with people. Um, if you click under here, you can really um, make it, you know, whatever color your um, organization is for um, the logo, additional project details, which is where you're going to see like how you're collaborating, what your description of this is, um, and so on and so forth. Um, I then also created a social media calendar because that is a different um, a different way of being able to collaborate with other team members also. Um, so here you can see in the calendar view um, all the posts that would be ready. Um, and then they're all color coded. So when you come into, sorry, the board, um, nope, my apologies, the list view um, where I created, you can see all the posts who they're assigned to, when they're going to be coming up and where they're going to be um, posted. So tags is really cool because you can create or add as many uh, tags as you would like. So um, here I used it as the um, Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, but you can use it as clients and then you can sort by um, these tags. And then when you click in, you open it up and here you'll have your um, description again. So this is where you would have your copy within, um, if that's how you're going to be using Asana, that's how we use ClickUp. Um, so our copy would be in here and the image would be in here. And then when the uh, posts are in uh, review, um, the person that is reviewing those, that copy will come in and um, be able to see the description and then move it over to um, that it is ready to be scheduled and then I can move over to completed. Um, another cool thing with the home is that you can see that I'm a part of these, both of those um, lists or what you could set up as teams. Um, and I, you can see everything that I'm tagged to myself um, right here in your overview or at the home. So instead of having to switch between these two, if the, as long as they're date specific, um, you know, it'll show you what's coming up and then you can see more and you can scroll through all of them just in case maybe there's one that isn't um, date specific, like these three are not. So of course they're gonna be on the bottom. So that's a great way to kind of see everything um, that way. Um, and then you can go in and, you know, customize this stuff, which is another awesome um, way uh, that Asana makes this so much more um, user friendly and stuff like that to make it um, where you really make it work for your organization and your team. Um, that's kind of the biggest goal here is it, you know, the tools aren't going to make you agile. You, you have to be agile and then you make the, the tool work for you and on your agile journey. So what's going to be the most um, comfortable for you and your team to work within, um, you know, it, So uh, that's a kind of a grand overview of um, Asana and kind of how you can make that work in the free version um, very simply. So I hope that helps. Thanks so much. And I will see you in the next uh, tools video.